1975, I started the world's first state licensed taxidermy institute, teaching sportsmen how to become professional taxidermists. Today, Reinhardt Taxidermy Institute continues to teach the most advanced taxidermy techniques, starting you on the path to owning your own business and living the American dream. Being your own boss, it all starts with training at Reinhardt Taxidermy Institute. Call today, 1-877-BUSHBUCK for your free institute catalog. This is the Reinhardt 18 to 1. There aren't any celebrities around it. That's because the celebrity does not make the target any better. The target won't last longer with a celebrity endorsement. If you need to be told how long it will last, the industry's only one year broadhead guarantee is on the back of every 18 to 1 sold. If you can shoot out all 18 sides within one year, we'll replace it. Hassle free, guaranteed. Ask for one at a retailer near you. Demand the best, demand a guarantee, demand a Reinhardt. Well, welcome back. I've bonded over the years with uh, the body putty, but the key is to make sure I have a final check before I mount it. I've already measured the cape. It's measuring just a few inches below the ears, about 22 and a quarter inches. Let's go over the mannequin and see what we got. And just a couple inches below the ears, we are 21 inches. That's key to know that this 21 inches, I got 22, we should have a great fit. Also, what you should realize about well sculpture mannequins, if the neck fits, the shoulder fits, the face fits. That's up to the sculpture. As a practicing taxons, I only took one measurement, and that was always on the cape. It was never on the deer. Forget about measurements on the deer. It's a waste of time. Necks are everything after they've been tanned. So, we'll flip it over, and we'll do a quick pre-fit. I still want to be cautious, even though everything says we got to fit. Well, I don't believe it when I have it. You'll notice I'm not going to pay any attention to the face, just position it somewhat. But I'm going to be watching the brisket. From the brisket, which looks just about right, I've got to go around the front here and get my stretch in. This is, this is the big moment right here. And we come together with a half inch overlap and I consider that absolutely perfect. You can't get a better fit than a half inch overlap. That means all my sewing will be a pleasure. I won't be stretching, I won't be pulling. I'll just be sewing. So a little hide paste. And this bugger is ready to go. All right, we're down close to the brisket. We're gonna stay a couple inches away from the edge. And we're gonna go back over to the mannequin. And in the areas that I just hide paste on the animal. Now you notice I'm keeping it upside down because I'm going to be working upside down for a little bit. As I like to say, when we put the cape on, we want gravity working with us, not against us. Cape on, which is over the face, down to the brisket. Same order we just had when we did the pre-fit. Down in through here. Check the face. Really wants to fit nicely. This is going to be fun. This is not obviously the cape I shot the deer with. It's a replacement. And what is key is right back here we've got the neck and from the neck I want to make sure the brisket comes together up in the back. Now everything in front of that has to sew. And there can be quite a flap of skin but it's all called compression. All right, pin it using two inch T-pins. And then I'll work my way down the neck. Everything's coming together just as nice as one could hope. Well, there we have our, our pre-fit, our pinning. Check out the shoulder a little more. Make sure, there we go, that's important. Okay, make sure there are no bubbles or stretches across the concave which means I move the skin around. I'll work on this later, of course. And I'm going to turn it over, and before I start sewing, I'm going to rebuild the ear butts with potter's clay. Now, we're looking for two balls of clay, pretty close to the same size. And we're going to put a little cup in there, because this is going to go up into the ear. And there's my ear base. Normally you shape this one it's in, but I thought I'd give you an idea that this is how it works, and in we go. 
Turn it inside out a little bit. There, fit it right up in there. Work it around. Press it in there. Pull the skin over. We have just created a beautiful clay earbud. And we'll do exactly the same thing on the other ear. Now, I spent a considerable amount of time studying how the original Skinner skinned this head out because the cuts across from the antler to antler pretty well have to match. And so we got a pretty long sew here. And so we pull these two points here, one point in front of the antler, one right here, which is where the original Skinner did. We're going to get a nice bite with a three edge glover's needle, the big one, number five. We're going to go over to the other side. And I can see the other corner. And Get a nice bite. Glover's needles are very sharp, so when you work with them, it would be wise to be very careful. And I'll pull this up, watching to get the skin around the antler burr. Work it around. Usually on a remount, sometimes things don't fit perfect. This will fit pretty close. There we go. Put a little more stretch on it. And then I'll bring it up and tie it off and we'll tighten this up this is my last stitch on the first side loop it through the needle give it a good tight pull and I'll do it twice then I'm going to do the same thing tie it off and sew all the way down the back so we're going to be sewing for a while so let's take a break when we get back we're going to be working on the brisket <laughs> 